Yes, yes, Blade fam, what is good? So I thought I'd jump on here today and make a little video because I've got a new skate park in town. Now, when I say I've got a new skate park in town, it's actually in Cornwall, but in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty damn close. So for those of you that don't really know the UK, I'm just gonna quickly pop a little map up. I live in Plymouth, which is in the county Devon, and counties here are the equivalent of like states in America. Um, so what I've actually got to do is get on the ferry and go across into Cornwall, which is a different county or state. Um, but because of where I live in Plymouth, I'm right on the border. So for me to jump on the ferry, it's about a five minute drive from here down to the ferry port. The ferry takes sort of 10 minutes to get over to Cornwall and then it's probably like a 15 minute drive from there. So yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty damn close. It's in a tiny little town called Millbrook and there's nothing going on there. So I'm really hoping the skate park should be pretty quiet. It's a weekday. Uh, the kids have just had their Easter holidays and they're back at school. So they've kind of had their fun and the new skate park excitement. Hopefully that's all done with and it should be nice and quiet today. Now, it is a absolutely stunning day out there. I'm itching to get out. I'm actually just waiting for a part to turn up for my van. Van's in the garage. Um, it's got a little problem with it. The second that this part is here, I can drop it to the garage and then I can go on from there to the skate park. Uh, the garage is actually in Cornwall as well, so it sort of ties in well. But um, the quicker I get the van back, the quicker I can do some better adventures. Um, the courtesy car is not the best. I mean, it still wheels. I'm very grateful to still get a boat, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's not the van. I can't get my rails in there and I can't get all like my gear about because the courtesy car is so tiny and I've got a week off at the moment. So it's kind of bad timing, but it can't be helped. We're still gonna have a fun little session today. Now, Millbrook did have a skate park before. It wasn't the worst, but it was just metal ramps sort of plonked all over the place, completely random. Um, I'll put a little image or a couple images up in the corner here of Millbrook Skate Park so you guys can see what it was like. Um, as you can see, it didn't really get the maintenance it needed. It was really weird how everything was placed apart and just not very good. Um, and yeah, all of a sudden I had like an Instagram page come up and it was like Millbrook's getting a new skate park and they'd already started building it. There was no um like go fund me for it there didn't seem to be any like planning like that i mean i'm sure there was but i didn't hear about it um and within what seems like six weeks it's done and finished so um it's crazy how how fast skate parks pop up now and how many there are um if you look at how many skate parks are in cornwall it's just so populated with them and a lot of them are pretty damn good like the build quality and the obstacles um there's some really really good skate parks in cornwall so yeah, I thought what better opportunity to go and check out a fresh park. Like I said, hopefully it should be quiet. Um, it's a weekday. I like it when you've got a skate park to yourself. It's always good. I reckon there might be a few people there, but we'll find out. Um, it's got some very unique obstacles or it's got one very particular unique obstacle. I'm not gonna show you anything yet. I'll let you have a look when we get to the skate park, but they've built this like oververt wave kind of thing. Um, it seems like a bit of a weird obstacle to put into a skate park. Uh, like, I definitely can't skate it. It's so strange looking. Um, I don't want to say it's like a waste, but it looks like it's there more for aesthetic reasons than actually as an obstacle, which to me does seem a little bit pointless. Skate parks have a purpose and a use. Um, there's no point in making them look all nice and futuristic. And um, yeah, I, I don't really get why they've done it, but no doubt a skateboarder will manage to grind the top of it or something, but um, you'll see when we get there. But yeah, I've just got to wait like a couple more minutes. The parcel should be here within about 15 minutes. Um, I'm all ready to go. I'm literally itching to get out there. We're going to go to the beach after as well. Um, there's a beautiful little spot called Whitsands Bay, which is where I go once a week at least. I just like to go over there, sit on the beach, just listen to the waves, earth my feet out through the sand and just sort of not meditate as such, but just chill. Just like no phone, no music, literally just sit there, take it in, think about everything and it's my little go-to spot. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a skate, the fresh skate park, go down to the beach. I've got my swimming trunks. I might go in the water if I'm feeling brave, but I am really, really shit at swimming. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but I'll see you guys when we get onto the ferry. All right, I've just dropped the diesel pump over to the garage and they reckon they can get it in today to work on it. So hopefully you should have the van back soon and hopefully it fixes the problem. Now, I said that we'd be going over on the ferry. We've actually come over a different way. Not that it really matters, but I've just got some petrol. We're about 10 minutes away from the skate park. So I'll catch up with you guys when we're there, see what it's all about. All right, just walking over. 
there's a few people there but um doesn't look too busy it's in a beautiful spot literally middle of nowhere you've got like the river coming up down the side yeah lovely little spot let's see what it's all about all right here it is first thing kind of a cool little street spot that's there to stop the gravel coming down and look at this quarter it's a big boy but look at that absolutely incredible so you've got this pointy weight pointless wavy thing I'm not sure why that's there some good stuff bowl corner cool little like rainbow thing flat rail is very low but it's fresh <laughs> really cool little park yeah gonna get stuck into it Right, I am all done. Kids have turned up. Um, there were quite a few kids when I got here anyway, to be fair. I think a lot of them are getting homeschooled, but I still had a bit of fun. There was quite a few lines that I wanted to try, but it's just a little bit too busy. So I spent most of it on the quarter and the rail and doing like the little tech thing in the middle. But yeah, pretty damn good park. Gonna head to the beach, might dip in the water if I'm feeling brave. All right, we've just pulled up to the cliff top and what a stunning view. I absolutely love this place. I think I said earlier, I try and come here about once a week just to sort of clear my head, uh, wind down, reflect on life, just sort of, just chill and take it in. But yeah, it's quite a descent down to the beach. It's pretty killer getting down and it's even harder to get back up. So maybe my little legs might struggle after the skate. But yeah, what a lovely spot to come and just wind down after a session, eh? Let's get down there. Yeah, this is what I was saying, a bit of a treacherous walk and it's a long way down. But uh, yeah, probably not the best footwear in the Crocs either, but I've done this before and I'll do it again. All right, I'm gonna do my good deed for the day. Try and help this gross little dude out. Hey, there you go. All right, buddy, a little high five. All right, we made it down. Yeesh. Unfortunately, the tide is in about as far as it goes, so there's not much beach, but uh, I'm going to take it in nonetheless and enjoy myself. Beautiful. All right, we made it down. What an absolute beauty. So yeah, unfortunately, the tide is in pretty damn far. Normally, you can walk for miles along this beach. Um, I have gone over the rocks before, but I've got the crocs today and I don't fancy risk it. And I've also been very, very close to getting stuck over there also. It's quite rocky um, because the, the tide is in folk so far and it's quite choppy as well. So I'm not gonna brave it and go in the water today. You won't see me again if I go in there. So that's not happening. So yeah, um, I thought I'd just do a little run through about what I think of the skate park and how I think today's session went. Um, all round, really fun skate park. There's a few little like quirky sort of things you can do. I like that you can skate the high ledge from the outside. That's really cool. I also really, really rate the quarter pipe. It's about eight foot tall. It's really, really wide. The transition is absolutely perfect and it slid like incredibly well. Um, I put quite a bit of wax on it because it's new. I thought it was going to be a bit sticky and I actually made it too fast. Where I was doing the top pawn, step back to pawn, I just kept flying off the end. Um, so that took a little while to sort of control and slow down. 
Also notice that I am very, very rusty when it comes to transition and quarter pipe sort of stuff. Um, I just don't skate enough skate park. It's, it's not something I really enjoy, um, but it is like quite a, a substantial part of rollerblading, I suppose. So I thought that uh, I'm gonna just do a little bit more if I can. Like I've got Kingsbridge there and I've got Millbrook now. So any little like couple hour free slots I get during the week, I'm just gonna he head over there, um, get my quarter pipe, pipe game back up and just try and try and get back into the swing of things, I suppose. Um, I still enjoy it, but it's just not as adventurous and like thrilling as going street skating. I love finding new stuff. I love exploring new area areas. And for me, like skate parks is normally just the same sort of stuff, just laid out a bit differently. Um, no problem with anyone that likes skate park, of course, everyone's got their own thing, but street skating is my one love. You know, that's what I love doing. So is what it is. Um, the wave obstacle is so strange. Like that is the talking point of the skate park. Whether that's good or bad, I'm not sure, but I don't think anyone's gonna get a trick on that. It's ridiculous. It's just in a weird place. It's really strange how it's built. They're still coping all the way around it. Um, I know they're trying to like give the skate park a little quirk, but to me, that's not the right way to do it. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Uh, a lot of the other stuff is quite low, but still fun. The rail is like a standard skate park rail, but it's good, it's round, it's good for practice. I do like how you can skate the, the high ledge that I was doing at the end. I like how you can skate that from the outside of the skate park to make it even higher. And then you've got that street sort of triangle ledge, which I didn't do anything on, um, but I'd like to in the future. There's also a lot of lines that I didn't experiment on there today. So the kids were very much sticking to their own little bowl section. And because they were over there, I was like, happy days, I'll just skate this part because they're not bothering. And I didn't really want to like sort of interfere and then make the skate park sort of busier. So yeah, I'll definitely do a few more bits when I go back. Um, bumped into a girl there called Rose that I know. She quad skates, so it's nice to have a little catch up with her. And there was also another rollerblader there, which I couldn't believe. And he's actually from the little village Millbrook. Um, so yeah, really cool to see that. Um, he sort of said the same thing. He's like, well, man, I haven't seen another rollerblader for years. So I had a little chat with him. Um, all the locals, really, really friendly. There was a kind of older chap there that had his kids there who was lovely to chat to. Um, I think he had a little bit of input into the committee and building the skate park and stuff. So he's quite proud and happy that they've got their skate park, obviously. But um, yeah, I think that's kind of it. I'm just going to chill on the beach for a bit, um, taking the sound. Uh, I'm definitely not going in the water. Like I said, you will not see me again but it's beautiful down here. And yeah, it's right next to the skate park. So uh, it's perfect. So if you guys are in Cornwall or like the Devon area, um, definitely head to Millbrook, check it out. You can come to the beach after. Um, but yeah, there it is. There's Millbrook Skate Park. Had a fun day. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon.